Okay, so let's have module 1, lesson 3, classification of differential equations. The main purpose of this course is to discuss properties, solutions of differential equations, and to present methods of finding solutions for approximating them. To provide a framework for this discussion in this section, we give several ways of classifying differential equations. When the unknown function depends on a single independent variable, only ordinary derivatives appear in the equation. So actually, ordinary differential equation contains only one independent variable. So ordinary differential equations, or ODE, the equations discussed in the preceding two sections are ordinary differential equations, so the one in the motion problem and then the mice problem. Now what is PDE? When the unknown function depends on several independent variables, so uh, meaning more than one independent variables, partial derivatives appear in the equation. In this case, the equation is said to be a partial differential equation, also known as PDE. So, these are some examples of uh, PDE. This, this one is known as the heat equation. This one is the wave equation. So, usually for partial PDE, it contains partial derivatives with this symbol another classification differential equations depends on the number of unknown functions that are involved so if there is a single unknown function to be found then one equation would be sufficient if there are two or more unknown functions then we will have a system of differential equations. So this is an example of a system of differential equation. This is also known as the predator-prey equations. You have the dependent variables u and v, you know, uh, which are a function of time, time t. So a, alpha, c, and gamma here are constants. So X and Y are respective populations of prey and predator species. So this is actually your U and the other one is V. Now what is the order of differential equation? That is the order of the highest derivative appearing in the in the equation. So let's say for the following example, no? this one is first order, this one is second order, the highest order here is 4, so therefore this is fourth order. Now, this is second order, no? uh, partial differential equation, uxx, this, this means second order, this is also second order. We will be studying differential equations for which the highest derivative can be can be isolated. No? So this is n derivative of y, which is a function of the other derivatives up to n minus 1 order derivative. The degree of a differential equation, the same as the degree of the highest order derivative after rationalizing and clearing of fractions with respect to the derivative now this one is the highest order is third degree and then the power of the third order is three so this is third order third degree not not fifth degree now we must simplify first the equation so no no rational fraction fra uh, functions or uh, radical 
So we square both sides. So squaring will get x plus 2y here, k squared, and the square of y, y double prime. So this is second order, second degree. For a first order differential equation, a differential equation is linear if it satisfies the following conditions. Now, it is linear in the dependent variable. It is linear in all of the derivatives of the dependent variable. So this is this also applies to to higher order. It does not contain a transcendental function of the dependent variable. It does not contain a product of the dependent variable and any of its derivatives. If any of the conditions is not satisfied, then the equation is said to be to be nonlinear. So, um, if if y is a dependent variable, then the equation must con contain only y. Okay, not y squared, y cubed. It should be linear in all of the derivatives of the dependent variables. So, y prime, y double prime, and so on must be raised to power 1. So, for example, if you have y double prime raised to the power 2, so that, that makes it nonlinear. It does not contain a transcendental function. So, let's say sine t, cosine t. It, ah, no, uh, sign, if y is a dependent variable, uh, it, it shouldn't have, uh, let's say, uh, cosine y, sine y, e, e raised to y, and so on. It does not contain the, a product of the dependent variable and any of its derivatives. So, for example, um, in this case, let's say if you have y a term containing y times y prime this is no longer uh, linear no so this is that makes the equation okay nonlinear if any so if one con if one of the following conditions uh is not satisfied then the equation is nonlinear okay so any any ordinary differential equation can be uh, expressed in the following form so this this means that this is a function of t t is the in, independent variable and then the dependent variable is y so y y prime a function of a function containing the following no the independent variable t y y prime and so on up to n derivative of y now if it is linear then it must be linear in all of the derivatives so a general linear ODE can have or can be expressed as follows Okay, so A O A one up to A N are constants or fu or functions of the independent variable, and then you have the derivatives of y, and then on the right hand side you have any function of the independent variable t. So the, uh, let's have the following. So examples we determine if the equation is linear, the given equation is linear or nonlinear. So this one is linear. This contains e to the y. No, y is the independent, uh, rather the dependent variable. This is nonlinear. Okay, it must not contain a transcendental function of the dependent variable. Number three, yes, this is linear. Number four, so y is the dependent variable. Okay, this one is is, is linear. Um.
Okay, so you have u x x u of u y y. This is also linear. Your uh, t naman is the independent variable, ano? And then um, this one. You, you remember that u is the dependent variable, so this is nonlinear. 